Hi guys, Shelley Fitzgerald with So Shelley Quilts. I'm back again in Bernina Embroidery Software Designer Plus. This is version 8.2. Um, and I want to work in our auto digitized toolbox again. So this tutorial, we're gonna work in the color photo stitch. So we need to bring in a photo or a piece of artwork. I'm gonna use an actual photo. I can insert artwork right here inside the auto digitized toolbox. I could also go to the very top and right here is the exact thing, insert artwork. Remember whenever you hover over a tool up here and it becomes um, a paragraph, it will remind you to press F1 for more help. And if you do that, it will take you into the manual right here on how to import artwork. So it opened the actual manual on the topic. So don't forget that that help is always available to you when you hover over an icon. The other way you could get a picture is to come up to artwork, insert artwork, same thing. So I'm gonna just click insert artwork. This will take me out to where I can use the um, navigation of my computer the little picture that I want is just on my desktop to make this easy today. And I'm going to use the little picture. It's a JPEG file and it's of my puppy. I took it with my phone, uh, Samsung S10. They take very nice photos. You'll notice a couple of things. Number one, because I'm in embroidery, this particular file came in rotated. So all I need to do is rotate it right once twice. It also came in really big, 42 by 42, and that's huge. Now I happen to know that color photo stitch that we're going to play with today, the maximum size is six by six. I'm going to crop this to eight by eight because I'm going to take off some of this perimeter. And so I'm going to swipe out and put in eight. We're working in inches. If I were in metric, I would just say eight I N or eight and the inch symbol, even if it was in metric, but I'm in US. And because this is locked, the little padlock is closed. I only have to enter in the eight in the width or the height, press enter. And there it has shrunk. Now I'm going to push zero on my keyboard. That's a zoom feature that I know of the shortcut for. And I want to crop this background. So I'm going to choose crop background. I have another video that I'll figure out how to put a link to um, that you can find really talking in depth about the cropping, but I'm just gonna make a little rectangle for today's uh, activity and just draw a little rectangle around the puppy. And there we go. I have now cropped the puppy to a smaller size. So I'm going to use and go back to the color photo stitch. Takes a minute to bring up the bitmap preparation screen. So here is the screen and it came in with seven colors. So this is kind of a view. I can actually zoom in and have a little look a bit closer and see how those colors are distributed. You can zoom in and zoom out. As you adjust the number of colors, you're gonna see a difference in what the overall picture looks like. And just because you get more colors doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna like it better. Um, that does look nice with 10 colors. We're getting a little more detail here. I'm going to zoom in. See, there's a little more interest in these furry parts. I'll zoom back out again. Um, but you'll see when we get up to bigger and bigger numbers that it's not always better. See there at 13, that certainly didn't help. Some of those colors um, changed in this background instead of on the puppy. So I'm going to go back down. 15 is the maximum. Let's use um, 10 or, no, let's use 10. Let's use 10 colors. I like that. Now, 
it comes up with the resolution high, medium, and low. And what this does is change the stitch count. So I'm going to put it up to high. Now, also, if I went into adjust, it would take me to that same place that this word adjust over here took me, where I could have changed the lightness, the contrast. I could make the picture into a sepia or a gray. And I don't need that for this. I want the colors. Um, but that is the same adjustment as if we had gone in from over here. So I'm just going to say cancel. I don't want to adjust that. And now I'm going to put OK. And it is using isochord colors. We could get into some matching and different things later. But we're just going to talk about um, the overall photo stitch, not the thread choices right this minute. So I'll just say OK. And there's the little picture. So um, it has made the stitches pretty tight because I chose high um, density. And the photo, the original photo, is still behind this picture. And so it's really impacting the photo stitch and the way it looks. So if I want to see what it's going to look like without the the picture behind it, then I want to, let me push zero to get that situated a little bit. I'm going to push um, the bitmap up here. I'm going to turn off the bitmap and you'll be able to see now what just the stitching looks like. Okay, so those are just the stitches, not anything else. And if you like that, that's marvelous. Um, I'm going to very quickly, uh, without you watching, create this exact same thing um, with the medium density and the low density. So I'll be right back. I'll have those done when I come back. Here's the puppy. Let's turn the photo off. This one I did with low. So when it ask about that density i had high normal or low and this one's done with low density still 10 colors okay so then design two up here this is done with normal density and that's how tight the stitches are and it was still 10 colors and then here was high and this is um 10 colors high density so that's the difference there's normal and there's low on the low 56,860 total stitches this is on a six by six or six and a half by six and a half design okay lots of stitches in these the design two with the normal 70,000 design one 76 thousand so the stitch count really goes up but that is how you change the density of the stitching is you change it that resolution and it makes these scribbles closer together so let me show you something else um, real quick that's kind of fun so first I'm going to save this first one and I'm going to say file save as and I'm just going to put it out on my desktop just to be quick. And I'm going to call it um, Lucy Photo Stitch High Density. Okay. I don't know if I spelled that right or not. I was looking at the keyboard. So it's saving it. It's thinking about it. And there it is. These other two I'm just going to go ahead and get... I'm not, well, I won't get rid of them in case I change my mind and want to show you something, but I'm not going to use them. I like this high density one. I think it's more impactful. And for this particular photo, I like the way it looks. So I'm going to um, do a couple of different things now. One, I can come up to the word design and come down to the background and I can audition different colors behind 
to see if I stitch this on different color fabrics, what will it look like? So there's what it would look like on dark yellow fabric. Um, here I can come back and background and the background colors. Let's see what it might look like on a gray. Here's a 80% gray, it says. And change that. I don't care for that at all. It's way too dark. Let's come into design background. And you can see where you can just play and play and play. Now, whenever you come into these um, tools like this and it says um, more colors, that means that you can click and you can get to um, a larger color wheel. And if you go to custom, you can actually put in the red, green, and blue the the colors uh, that you wanted to import like if you knew what those numbers were you could insert them but you can choose colors like this so i'll say okay with this red background and let's see what she looks like on reg i don't like that either so i'm going to go design and i'm going to use a really light um let's try a light uh, soft blue nope you can do this forever till you figure out all right i like that good enough see how it comes through the design a little bit of brightness but not really i don't know that i'd really stitch it on bright yellow i would play more and more i just want you to see now that background color color has nothing to do with anything except kind of giving me an idea so that i don't have to test stitch this seventy-six thousand uh stitch design that often i could um just keep practicing to see what background color i want to filter through on this particular design to make it look its very best i can't stand it let's do it one more time i think we're going to go back just to a really soft light gray right here much better much better a soft gray okay so there we go. Now, one more neat trick. So I've got her saved in this high density, but if I wanted to really just change her all the way around, I'm gonna come down to this color wheel. And it's in a harmonious color scheme and the brightness I can change. And I'm just gonna move to a whole new color. Let's um, change the base color and just move it around. There she is in blue. There she is in green. Do you see how um, I'm able to change the entire overall effect? We could go totally Andy Warhol on this deal. So there are blue stitches. I'm going to say OK. And there's the little puppy in blues. I could save it like that and stitch it like that. Or I could use the color wheel and, um, you know, I can just keep playing with it, like I said, and just totally, I could stitch it out multiple times maybe. So there it is in greens, a nice soft yellows and greens. So that's kind of fun, guys. Don't forget to play with your color wheels. So now the actual stitch out on this, you're going to want heavy stabilizer this isn't going to become anything soft and wearable so you're definitely going to want a nice heavy stabilizer to get 76,000 stitches in a six and a half by six and a half area but they're beautiful they make wonderful pockets on totes they make great pictures you could actually frame uh, you could stitch it and then put it um, applique it onto the back of a jacket and just because I've used a puppy doesn't mean that you wouldn't use anything. You could use a photo of a quilt block. You could use um, a JPEG drawing out of a cartoon coloring book. You can, you can use the photo stitch with absolutely anything, not just the puppy. So here's an example of just a bitmap out of our software. Um, this was just the little um, picture and it's just a bitmap drawing so i opened it and applied color photo stitch 
Then here is a picture of one of my grandsons at the swimming pool. And it was just a photo of him opened in color photo stitch. I haven't stitched it, but it's um, very cute. 4.3 by 4.3. So um, that's what I wanted you to see. Uh, this is Shelly with So Shelly Quilts. And I wanted you to play with your photo stitch today. Be sure and subscribe and we'll go through some more of these auto digitized tools, the magic wands. I love the magic wand center line. And um, I, my goal is to get quite a few embroidery tools out so that you're using them more. We're all at home a bit right now. And so maybe playing in software is a good diversion. Talk to you later. Bye.